No time to talk. We have to fix this slight leak. Can I do anything to help? Well, the Hydratron's tube is obviously burned out. We could use a new one. A WC-67? Yeah, we're out of that size. Must have been the signals. Yes, the signals. It's a pretty big vacuum tube, but it's not glowing. It's A Street. No time to talk. We have to fix this slight leak. What caused the leak? Well, the Hydratron's tube is obviously burned out. We could use a new one. A WC-67? Yeah, we're out of that size. Must have been the signals. Yes, the signals. It says, after 34 years of serving the Tri-Thimbleweed County area, we had to close our doors. We should have listened to Chuck. Transistors are a dead-end path. Tubes are the future. Thank you, our loyal customers. It says, we're out of the old abandoned pillow factory. Back soon. Safely for savings manager, Mr. El Paulo. All boarded up. Not even any wilted flowers left inside. ThimbleCon 87. It's opening later tonight at the hotel. I don't want to pick that up. It's the back door to the diner. What? It's the back door to the diner. What a mess. It's locked. It's a dime, just lying there. Looks pretty dark down there. That looks like Agent Ray's notebook. I hope she's okay. 
definitely Agent Ray's notebook. I will, of course, refrain from perusing its contents. Agent Protocol. Pretty disgusting. It's an empty box. An old cash register. Welcome to the S and D diner. Hey, just so you know, that article in the Thimbleweed Nickel about botulism was a smear job. So, what can I do for you, honey? I'm a federal agent. Know anything about the dead body? Not too much, just scuttlebutt from the morning breakfast crowd. And I don't want to get into trouble, especially with a crazy person like him. You're not talking about me, are you? Shut up, Dave. We're the feds, you can trust us. What else do you know? Okay, honey, but you didn't hear this from me. I'd look into that crazy clown that lives out at the old circus. He's been out there since the circus closed down years ago. Never takes his makeup off. He's got serial killer written all over him. It all happened about nine or ten years ago. Ransom the Jerk was the featured act at Stupendous Brothers Circus. He was about ready to go on stage and meet his well-earned doom. Big night tonight. Full house after my raunchiest Tonight Show appearance. I really got Johnny good, that little jackwad. It's his own fault for not being able to take a joke. I better get ready to go on stage and insult the crap out of these thimbleweed idiots. I just need to fix my hair, put on my makeup and clown nose, and find my joke book. Very cozy. My maid changed the sheets today. It's a prototype Ransom the Clown doll. It's a perfect likeness of me. Well, maybe the nose is a bit too big. Ouch! That's tight, but it'll have to do. Glad I only have to wear it for a couple of hours. My hair is all frizzy, and I'm not wearing my special ransom clown makeup. I can't go on like this. Get your together, clown. Meanest clown of 1977 and 1978. Ransom the Clown. My circus poster, featuring the amazing Ransom the Clown. That's me, face. It's an IOU. I, Carney Joe, loan Ransom the f clown $1,000 and will hold his joke book hostage until I gets paid. It's my lawyer's business card. What the hell is this? The number of letters in the last word of the big top sign. The number of letters in the first word of the big top sign. The number of kids that Carney Joe has. Must have written it when I was on a bender. It's an IOU. Ransom the f clown lost $1,000 to me, Carney Joe, and I will hold his joke book hostage until I gets paid. Hmm. The number of letters in the last word of the big top sign. The number of letters in the first word of the big top sign. The number of kids that Carney Joe has. Ransom. I'm glad I caught you before you went on stage. Autographs are a hundred bucks. Ransom, I'm your business manager and lawyer. I don't want your autograph. Okay, 50 then. I just wanted to let you know that your mistress is waiting at your house in Aspen. 
and your private jet is being fueled and ready to whisk you there when the show is over. Also, we have a deal worth millions to license a line of toddler Ransom the Clown talking insult dolls. Did he get the liability clause waived? Correct. They will assume all liability when the kids grow up to be beepholes. Good. Toddlers start out as It's not my fault they end up that way. Okay, fine. 25 bucks. I should have been a dentist. You! My own private backstage entrance to the Big Top. It's my Ransom the Clown swear jar with 138 bucks in it. My contract states that I'm the only one who's allowed to swear. Anyone else caught swearing has to pay up. I'll just take the big bucks. Hmm, the number of letters in the last word of the big top sign. The number of letters in the first word of the big top sign. The number of kids that Carney Joe has. This goop keeps my clown fro erect. Can't have a limp clown fro or anything else. Ooh, my cloud fro looks great now. It's my special custom made clown makeup. I am tired of putting it on every night. Sure as wish there were a more permanent variety. Now there's the face I love. I'm not a wannabe pirate. You'll never get me to climb into one of those. Hmm. The number of letters in the last word of the big top sign. The number of letters in the first word of the big top sign. The number of kids that Carney Joe has. It's fresh out of that crappy popcorn. Must be a huge crowd in the big top. Just shoot like a man or a little girl. You got my money, Clowny? That's Ransom the Clown, asswipe. Okay, you got my money, Ransom the asswipe, Clown? One thousand clams or you're not getting your joke book back. Eh, serves you right for playing the duckies. So, uh, how's the old ball and chain and kids, huh? My wife's doing fine, no thanks to you. And so are the four kids. But they still cry themselves to sleep every night after that stare you gave them. I need my joke book. The crowd's waiting for me. I told you before. You ain't getting it till I get the thousand bucks you owe me for the duckies. Plus, $138 in interest. Where the f am I gonna get that kind of dough? I have a show to do. 138 bucks in interest, you loan shark! You are putting a squeeze on me. Not my problem. You, I'm out of here. Today. I guaranteed to hit something. Go yourself. Ah.
Grandson, you idiot! Why did you push me? Oh! Hey, you owe five bucks to my swear jar. I can't get up! Grandson, you jerk! I'll steal your clown nose again, that's what I'll do! I'll... My trailer's back there! My trailer's... I don't want to pick that up! Let's see if I can remember this combination. Okay, now. And finally... Well, that didn't work. Hmm. The number of letters in the last word of the big top sign. The number of letters in the first word of the big top sign. The number of kids that Carney Joe has. No one out there. Ransom, you're a total. Ransom, you're a total. I'll get you, Ransom the Clown. My trailer's... It's already closed. Let's see if I can remember this combination. Okay, now. And finally, tough da. Next time, I'm setting it to one, two, three. It's exactly eleven hundred and thirty-eight dollars in unmarked bills. I can't get up! Ransom, you're a total Ah, uh, step right up! You got my money, Ransom the asswipe clown? I have your money. A thousand bucks plus interest. Oh, so you decided to pay up? Yeah, well, not much choice. Now where's my joke book? Yeah, the jokes all suck. So how'd you get to be so famous with jokes like these? Yeah? What do you know about being funny? Uh, about as much as you do, which is nothing. Now scram, Clowny. You're scaring the customers. Step right this way. That's sir. My own private fax. Hello, faces. I'm Ransom the insult clown. I hope no one gets their feelings hurt easily. And if you do, it's your own fault for not being able to take a joke. You guys love that pillow factory. It's the lamest claim to fame a town has ever had. Paris has the Eiffel Tower, New York has the Statue of Liberty, and Thimbleweed Park has a pillow factory. You better hope to God that feather pillows never go out of style. I was amazed you weren't a bunch of fatzos. What with all this bottomless foie gras and champagne you have at the parties here. Then I ate at your diner. Their food is a better purgative than Ipecac.
Hey, you, lady with a huge nose. I say lady, but your beak suggests you're a toucan. You shouldn't have bought tickets for the show tonight, toots. You should be saving your money for a rhinoplasty. Hey, you, dude with the stupid mustache. You think you look like Magnum P.I.? A 70s porn star called. He wants his mustache back. Hey, you, kid with a crappy wheelchair. Were you in a past life or something? Seriously, kid, you're in a wheelchair, and you got a face that looks like that? God's definitely punishing you for something. Hey, you, kid with the ugly shirt. Are you colorblind? Your shirt is about to give me a seizure. I mean, I'm a clown, and even I wouldn't touch something that garish. Hey, you, ugly old lady with the hairy mole. Or is it your parasitic twin? Whatever it is, I hope you bought a separate ticket. Because if it's big enough to ride the roller coaster by itself, it's not freeloading in my audience. You will be forever sorry for what you've just said. I curse you to never be able to remove your makeup and to roam these circus grounds until the end of time. He went on for another two hours, insulting everyone he could. Some people laughed because they thought it was funny, but most laughed because they were uncomfortable, and laughing is the best way to hide from the embarrassment of others. But after the show, in his dressing room, there wasn't gonna be any laughter. Ha! I killed tonight! One of my best shows ever! I hope that ugly old lady with a curse breaks a hip on the way home. Now to get this makeup off, hop on my private jet, and go see my mistress, Cindy, in Aspen. Yeah. What the f This makeup isn't coming off! The f you, old lady! You up the f you Come on! As much as he tried, his makeup wouldn't come off. That old lady wasn't just any old lady. She was Madame Morena, mistress of the dark arts. When she curses you, it's not an empty threat. Something Ransom was just now finding out. This makeup of that old my lady! Ransom, I've got some bad news. What do you want, you bald, greedy little can't you see I'm having a problem? Grab a tissue and some rubbing alcohol and help me, you Your private jet crashed while trying to land. Your wife found out about your mistress and she's taking everything you own except the house in Aspen. There was a fire in Aspen and your house burned to the ground. The toy and doll licensing deal is dead and they're suing you for breach. And one more thing. I quit. What? And go beep yourself. And that's why Ransom the Clown is such a creep. And you should go arrest him for murder. That's an interesting story. We'll go check up on him. Hot dogs, burgers, salad, pie, Schweinhaxe, that's about it. Ah, delicious! I can't wait to eat one. I'll have one of these hot dogs. Good choice, honey. We're trying to move them out. Let me get that for you. Eat up, hon, while it's still hot. Mm. Oh. Mm. Okay. That is the worst hot dog I've ever eaten. I, um, gotta go. <laughs> I feel better now. <sighs>